Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new vanilla with sprinkles. Let's take that away. It looks so much better like this rather than this. I really regret painting that hat. Anyway, yes, we're back. We're, uh, we're working on a new project here today. I've actually been working on this for a little while now. Just gathering up materials, making sure that I have kind of like the design and everything in mind. And yeah, we're, we're going to go for it today here and it's going to be amazing, hopefully. This is going to be the ultimate wyvern protection raft type thing. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. It's going to be like essentially just a boat that we can take over whenever there's like wyverns or anything. Like, oh my god, I just swung my mess over here. Whenever there's wyverns all the way over there. Um, because obviously whenever you collect an egg from over there, all of the wyverns freaking leave the trench. And I need my own defenses. If this is going to be an issue, then we're definitely going to need a way to solve it. And uh, so far we've kind of had to deal with it with like, you know, our sniper and things like that. But turrets are going to be so much better, seriously. And that way I don't die so much too. So. Yes, we're going to be building this here today. As you can see, this is a motorboat. I have actually already taken the liberty of starting this off because I wanted to sink the foundations and uh, we did a pretty freaking good job here. I actually watched my buddy Rally's tutorial on this. I'm not going to show this on camera because if you guys want to see this, you can go check out his video because I'd pretty much just be emulating what he's doing. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. It honestly... This looks really good and it's very functional because I can actually still use the top here to mount. I don't have to put in like a little hatch frame or anything. It's so good. Looks really, really good. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's start this off here. So guys, don't forget to beat the crap out of that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. It really does help me out. Do appreciate it. We're kind of going with a like more of just kind of like a square design on this. It's more of like, I guess, a tank on the water essentially. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be doing some fun stuff here. We have a minigun turret, we have plenty of auto turrets, and we have all the other bits. I just need to grab cables. That's the one thing I forgot to grab, actually. I think I already have some made up, so we can grab those really quick in a couple minutes. But, uh, yeah, let's just take these out for now. Uh, we want to extend this out. I think, like, I was thinking of making it as, like, a longboat, but honestly, I like the idea of having a decent-sized workshop, or not really a workshop, but decent-sized spot on the inside here, and I th hopefully it's going to look pretty good. So, start off by just extending this out by another foundation on every single side, and I think on the front we're going to put one ramp, so I need you, but I'm going to need to start placing some walls really quick. Uh, I'll need more walls than that, actually. I need to just start placing these so I have, like, the alignment right. So we need a... Is this going to be the front? Yeah. It's going to be the front right here. So we got to do that, and then we can go ahead. Where's my demo gun? Demo gun, where are you? Where's my demo gun? Do I not have one? I could have sworn I had one. All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Where did I put it? All right, whatever. Uh, let's just make a new one. Um, demo gun. There we go. This is part of S plus, by the way. We're running S plus, and if you want to know more about that over there, because I have to keep mentioning it because people keep asking. Yes, this is the island. If you want to know about this, this thing over there, go ahead and watch episode zero. It explains everything. Trust me, I'm not lying. Uh, so yeah, we need to grab those there, and that's gonna just float there for the moment. We're gonna be building around that in a couple minutes. Uh, so I could probably go ahead and chuck those away, and we can probably put this ramp on now, can we? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, now, let's see. Let's get these foundations in here, too. Like so. Um, we're just going to kind of go around the edge here with this, just to make it look a little bit better. And I also need a ceiling. Oh, can I put it under there? Oh, I can. Cool. Nice. I thought I'd have to do something with walls there. All right, let's uh, pop these guys in here. Get some air. And got a couple more here to place. Where's the rest of them? Do I not have more? Oh, I have some here. What the? Okay, that place wrong. Uh, nope, wrong button. Let's get some air. And let's place these guys in like so. Perfect. All right. Also, we should be able to get in through the center here, can we? Yeah, I believe we can. Nice. All right. So the next step is now we have like the whole the whole I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I can't think of words. Words. Okay, we got we got the whole the ground or floor or whatever sorted out. We gotta work with the walls here, and I think we're gonna incorporate some normal metal as well as some of the glass wall metal stuff. Uh, and then we could probably work on the doorway now as well. 
Um, and I guess I'm gonna need these, to be honest, I should probably just grab everything out, because I'm gonna need it all in, a, in like a minute or two. Oh well, okay. Let's, um, let's put down the doorway. So we're gonna use one of these double doorways. Really cool, I like those a lot. And... Need to place down some of these guys here. So this is gonna be our way in and out. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I guess also there's gonna be another way out. But, uh, we're gonna get to that in a couple minutes here. So, we want you like that. Um, I think these ones here should be metal, actually. Because we want the front as the glass so we can see it right through. And don't worry, we're going to be moving that chest in a couple minutes here. Let's just get all these guys down for the moment. Um, what ones did we... I think, yeah, let's leave this one here blank. And uh, we'll see about filling the rest of this out. I meant to leave that one blank again. <laughs> Damn it, no. Not like that. Alright. Okay. Gonna remove these guys. Uh, you. I should probably move the boat as well, because I feel like I'm gonna hit, like, something on my base and break something. So, yeah, let's just reverse it a little bit. And I gotta say, I freaking love the motorboats, the way you're actually able to reverse them. It's so much handier. It really is. So, this should be good. Um, yeah. That's grand. So, let's get some metal walls there. Like so, and we gotta get the rest of these walls in here too. And then, what way did I want to do this again? Uh, no, we don't actually, hmm, hang on. Alright, let's just do this really quick. Gotta take this away like that. I'm trying to think of how I was kind of like picturing this. Um, alright, yeah. Like so, and I think what we're gonna need, we're getting a little bit glitchy on the raft, by the way, if you see some, like, weird, like, glitchiness with me, like, sliding to the side and stuff, it's just, I guess it's something to do with the structures. Um, oh god, no, no, please, why? Like that? And like that, okay. And then we can place our sloped ceiling in on top of that. Alright, um, uh, so I need this one here? Okay. One of these there, you go there, and then you go there. Okay, yeah, this is working out. This is definitely working out. Um, and obviously later on, uh, after we have this whole thing built out, which is, man, this is so expensive. Once this is all built out, we're actually gonna try it and see if it works with the Wibbers. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be really, really upset. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible if they managed to like, still kill me while I'm in the inside or something. No. What? Please. Okay. Can you, like, snap to that point? Oh, we had it. There we go. Guarantee some of these are gonna be slightly misaligned or something. Um, so you go like that, and then like that. Yeah, you can see those are slightly misaligned. Where did that snap to? What? You can see there's like, it switches snap points immediately. What is that snapping to? Alright, let me take that away. Alright, so it was snapping to the metal one. Like that? that looks a little weird. Uh, I guess it's okay. Alright, so we might have to remove uh, this one here. Get these guys in really quick. Oh, that was the wrong button. Like so, and then, like, ooh, no, please, stop. <laughs> no, okay, we got it, we got it, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, actually, no, we gotta put this one here too. Nice, okay. So next step is, I don't know what the next step is, maybe the ceiling? Where are my ceilings? They're there, okay. Uh, we're gonna need you. You, I guess the ladders as well. Uh, what were the pillars for again? Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Okay, yeah, we can do those now too. I can take that as well. All right, so let's just get these pillars in. I wanted to place those onto the corners, literally just for design, just to make it look a little bit less square. Give it, like, a little bit of character. <laughs> Slightly. 
Uh, how does that look? Uh, you know what? We gotta we gotta go down with them too. Definitely. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad actually. I like that. Kind of juts out a little bit. It looks pretty good. All right, let's get this last one in over here. Do I have my flippers on me? I do. Also, I have actually started pumping oxygen slightly. I think I might try to get that up a little bit. I want to get one more point into my uh, weight though, but I couldn't remember how much oxygen went up by, and I decided just to pop one point in. And I think it's gonna be—it's gonna be a pretty good idea to actually have a decent amount of oxygen. Maybe 160, maybe push for 200. I don't know. We'll see. But we we have like one more point to go into weight, so that will get us to 96. And then we're going to have another, what, four points? So that should get us to 200, actually. Yeah. And I don't know what else I'm going to point or pump, pump points into. God, I wish I could speak. Uh, maybe we'll try to focus a little bit on, like, health or something after that. Though I don't really need a whole lot of health on this server. I don't know. Hmm, maybe just more weight. I could get, like, 900 weight. That would be crazy. Uh, but that's obviously after we ascend, so that's going to be a little while away from now. So we can pop these back now. Uh, we throw these guys up here. What is slowing me? I think it's my flippers, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's slam these guys up here. Bam. Like so. Uh, hopefully that's aligned correctly. I feel like... Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, no, no, no. Now I realize. Okay. I need to place down my hatch frame. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I was like, I thought I counted that out right. Um, I gotta, I gotta take my hood away or give my hood back even. There we go. So that's weird looking. Hmm. No, not like what? How? Uh, like this. There we go. Place off of this one. God, these things are so annoying. Wait, do I even need a lot? Yeah, probably don't really need a third one here actually. What would a third one look like? Uh, you know, actually, that's not too bad. And also, I think we're just slightly off-centered with this, but I think we're pretty good. I, I tried to do a decent enough job actually lining it up, but um, it's pretty difficult, so I don't know. I think I did. Yeah, we, we obviously were just slightly off, but I don't know. It's not too noticeable. I guess if I remove that last ladder, you probably got, you guys probably would have even noticed, but uh, yeah. All right, cool. Let's see. So what should we do next? Interiors or the turrets. I guess we could do turrets. Uh, also, we should probably just throw that guy on there. Uh, let's switch you to manual for now. Um, turrets. We're going to need this as well. Okay, let's throw that up there. Let's climb up here and see. Alright, that's going to keep annoying us, by the way. So, we got to get this in like the center. I was thinking it might be cool, like, it's it's really not needed, but I thought it might be cool to, you know, maybe place one of these things up here. Plus, we just unlocked it, I think, a level or two ago, and I, I really do like these things. Um, that looks centered enough. I want to just put it forward a little bit so we're a little bit away from the hatch frame. Cool. So, yeah, just for fun, we're going to be able to just kill them from a turret of our own if we want. Uh, we could just turn off the generator and just like manually kill them. Um, so that could be fun. So I guess let's pop down our turrets then. I don't really know the best way of trying to line these things up uh, besides just randomly placing them. So I think that's what we're going to do. Could I place? Oh, I could place them like that. That would be cool. All right. Uh, maybe like try to get them in like the center, I guess. Uh, kind of going back here a little bit somehow. Like that? That doesn't look too bad. I guess it's it's not the worst thing in the world if they're not completely lined up. I just prefer to have builds looking pretty good. I'm not OCD about things, but I, I don't know. I feel like sometimes, you know, having them like looking well is uh, worth putting extra time in. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We have six more, so we can place three in the front and three in the back. Uh, let's turn that slightly. It's pretty difficult to do this on a raft. 
so like that maybe and then try to get this one like between yeah not too bad oh man wyverns are gonna just they're gonna want to run from me because i'm i'm just gonna be unstoppable in this thing can i what the hell why do i have my cursor on the screen how is that even possible place thank you uh and then in the center ish yeah that looks pretty good all right so next step uh, we do have plenty of ammo, but I didn't bring it all down yet because it's all up in my fabricator. Um, let's work on the interiors here a little bit. So I have plenty of bunk beds, a little chest to kind of store some materials in. Uh, I could probably put some gear in here maybe. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? What way do I want to do this? Maybe just put this like right here, I guess. Eh, not the worst. Uh, okay. I don't know if we want to stick these on this side or not. I guess we can. Yeah, I'll probably just chuck them down here, I guess. So what number do I have those on? Five, six, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So some bug beds to respawn over here. Uh, we should probably go ahead and name that as well. Um, so. Sin Warboat. Let's just go ahead and copy that. Oh, wait, we can just quickly rename these ones here as well. And you too. Like so. Cool. You guys are all named, right? Grand. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is a S plus um, metal storage box. It's kind of just, I don't know, it has like 100 slots. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty useful. What else do I have in here? Mostly my gear and some leftover materials. And we got the generator placed down, maybe over here. Can I turn that a little bit? How do I? Okay, there we go. Cool. Uh, I just got to grab those cables, and then we can wire all of this up here. So what I might do is I might go ahead and do that, and I'll grab all the bullets and everything and fill up all the turrets up here. And then we'll take it for a little trip over to the crevice over there and hopefully not die. And now actually that I'm thinking about it, I should probably sort out some way to get my Anki into here. Uh, because if you guys don't know, I actually collect pretty much most of my metal over there. There are some metal nodes on the outside, and they do yield quite a lot of metal whenever I go over. So I usually bring this raft right here over with my Anki and, and uh, try to survive. <laughs> there has been a couple of occasions where I've had to actually shoot down wyverns and stuff. Uh, I think we've even done that on camera. But um, yeah, no, hopefully... Hopefully this is going to be a much safer way to bring him over there. So I just got to create a way of getting him in here somehow. Um, which I don't think will be possible without tearing up some part of it and actually having... My phone is on goddamn loud! Go away, Jeremy! That's tweeted. What did you tweet? Alright, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I don't want to put like a gate or anything on this. So that's not really an option. So maybe I could just remove walls whenever I want to get them on or something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'll sort all this out, and I'll probably brush this up here a little bit, and we'll be back. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're heading over. We're uh, we're getting close. This thing looks amazing, by the way. I messed around with the glass settings and stuff to make it look really cool. Tinted it as well, and man, I just... Whoa, what are we loading in? Oh, I think it's Evo's thing out there. He built something out there. Or maybe I was deloading my base. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, anyway, this thing looks amazing. I really do like it. I know it's very boxy, but still, I, I still kind of like it. Also, I do need to also freaking change the transparency of this thing up here. Let me see if I can grab that setting from there. Ah, oh, yes, it works. Cool. That's the little trapdoor I'm talking about up there. So uh, yeah, let's head on over. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything now. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. Let's actually turn this off. Because I wanna, I wanna just try to get these wyverns to come out, and then I'll take care of them. All right, we ready? And now I know that Axeman built a bunch of plant species X there, but I'm pretty sure it's all still broken. Haven't actually checked yet. You can see here's the wyvern crevice. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened there. We got like a, we a weird tint or something on our raft. Uh, there's the wyvern crevice. We need actually, yeah, we need a way to be able to turn on the turrets from being up on the top, actually. I need to add a keypad or something. That would be cool. Alright, let's um, go ahead and just take a couple more bullets here. I want to head up here because I want to, actually, you know what, we can just open up the door. 
Yes. All right, here we go, guys. This dude's gonna come for us. It's kind of hard to see him, but there he is. <laughs> oh, he can shoot in here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, he's dead, but I'm almost dead as well. Can I Getting into the water doesn't solve this, right? I'm pretty sure that when you're on fire, getting into the water doesn't make a difference. <laughs> well, you saw that anyway. Uh, if I hadn't turned that on quicker, he wouldn't have gotten so close. <laughs> that was dangerous, guys. That was really dangerous. Holy crap. Alright, how are we doing? We still have plenty of bullets? Yeah, you guys only used a little bit. I put around 150 in each of them, and uh, I put the rest into this thing. There's uh, quite a lot in here, so I really do want to test this out. <laughs> but uh, I think we need to get a couple more wyverns to come out and have some fun. Oh, God, there's an alpha in there. Oh, no, that's really bad. That is really, really bad. I, did, I knew that they spawned, but I haven't seen one in a while. That is so bad. Oh, crap. I don't, I don't even know if I can take that thing on. Um, I think what we need to do, because I know my body's just going to fly off into the water or something. I'm just going to stick everything into there. Because it's not even worth trying to, trying to get these things after. All I need to worry about is my sniper now, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, Alright. Should we lure in the alpha? I don't even know. I feel like that's going to be really difficult to kill. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. <laughs> also, I'm not fully healed yet. Maybe we'll try with this poison here. Oh, whoa. Okay. You see that? That thing hardly even got out of there. So with the turrets turned on, like, I could just sit right here and lure them all out and then go in after the eggs. That's going to be the plan. Uh, that guy's too far, I think. That was a direct hit, kind of. Uh, wait, oh, that was a miss. Yeah, no, that would have been a hit, though. Um, gotta get you to come a little bit closer. Nope, oh, can't hit him from this far. Hey, you got him that time. Nice, okay, here we go. Look at that. Level 6, but still. This is so cool. How many, how many bullets have you used? Not too many, seriously. Uh, some of the front ones here are using quite a lot. So maybe I'll I'll end up, when I when I make some more bullets, I'll put them into the front ones here. Uh, maybe some of the side ones here as well. Uh, are they targeting something? All right. Oh, I don't know if we should mess with that alpha right now. Should we? I have one more bullet that I can shoot right now. Yeah, let's get him. Oh, that was, that he's too far. <laughs> All right, we need to get some more bullets and we can take that guy down. I mean, this means a bunch of wyvern milk. Not that... Uh, I guess I can chuck it into my fridge. Uh, where are my bullets? They're there. Why did I not see this? Um, yeah, I can chuck the wyvern milk into a fridge, but I don't know. We'll see. He's too far. Gotta come closer. I do kind of want him to be pretty far away. I'm going to hop on this, by the way, as well, because I really don't feel safe trying to uh, <laughs> trying to take on this guy with just auto turrets. All right, you need to come closer, buddy. Oh, dude, this is so crazy. He's still too far. I don't want to go closer, though. Is there any other way of getting his attention? Besides, like, shooting him, obviously. Uh. No, I just can't hit him from this far. Damn, this is a sniper. I should be able to hit him. Or maybe I'm, like, maybe there's something there that I'm just not seeing and I can't actually shoot through it. Alright, here we go. Those would have all been hits. Yeah, we need to move in closer. Unless, I don't know what he's doing right now. Nope, still too far. Alright, we got one more mag here, so alright, yeah, no, he's he's sitting down. We're gonna get we're gonna have to get closer here. Would have been really handy having a second person here. That way that person could just uh drive the boat. <laughs> and then I could uh take care of these wyverns. There's some more wyverns in the back there. It's 
still too far. Come closer, buddy. Just like fly over here a little bit or something. Yes. Oh God, this is terrifying. Uh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead. I'm to oh God, he's dead. I killed him. <gasps> yes. Ah, uh, let's collect all the stuff. Is it safe? Oh, please don't be any sharks or anything. All right, we're pretty good here. What do we get? Is it level 30? Oh, we got our trophy. Nice. Oh, look at all this river milk. Hmm. How do I solve this? What the hell? Oh, it's a dead river. Okay. How do I solve this situation? Because this river milk, if I put this into my inventory, it's going to lose a lot of um, the stuff. You know what? We're probably not going to get an egg anytime soon, actually. Because the trench is broken right now. At least I th I think it is anyway. All right, let's leave it. It's okay. We'll um we'll chuck it somewhere. We have oh it still lasts an hour in my inventory. Okay, I didn't think it would last that long. All right, we gotta just make sure to put that back. I guess maybe I could stick like a lystro or something in here. Um, that way I could like stick the milk onto them. Or I you know what we could just chuck a fridge in because we got a thing right here. Yeah, fridge would be a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? All right. See, we got a dead wyvern above my, <laughs> above my raft. All right, we gotta, we gotta take it. Some more wyverns here. Let's, uh, actually, let's get a little bit closer. Let's get like right up to the place. Should be shooting them from here. Actually, should be able to at least. Uh, whoa, we got turned around there. That was weird. We just killed an alpha wyvern with like turrets and a, whatever this thing's called, a minigun thing. That is crazy. I was kind of missing most of the shots before it got really close, but still. Really fun. Where is the exact point that you need to actually aim at? Is it like just above that bar? Alright, let's just get them to come to us. Oh, this guy's coming right in. <laughs> Look at this! Just wyverns for decorations. Can we get you? Too far. All right. We can't really get any closer, to be honest. Can we? We can go a little bit in there, but I don't really want to go close to that lava in case it glitch in and kills me. It's really cool looking. Um, but yeah, you know, like, the idea would be that if I could get onto, like, a Tranodon or something, I just have this thing parked here. Oh, look, they're just going to kill that one. Watch. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, I get onto a Pteranodon, I lead them all out, just have this thing here. They would just, they would just all get destroyed. Because it's, like, right on the side. So, by the time the Wyverns are aggroed onto me and following me, I'm going to be, like, past this anyway. So, man. Yeah, I, maybe even having a way to get a Pteranodon in here would be cool. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Hmm. Alright, you know what, actually? Let's try to, let's try to get some of these Wyverns to come, to come to me. Um... Let me just reload this. Can I get out of here? Nope. Gotta back up a little bit. Let's actually park it over here. Alright. Maybe I should also grab my pick. That way I'll be able to... Oh, can I... <laughs> God damn it. Alright, there we go. Collect up a little bit of metal, maybe. Yeah, let's just get all these wyverns to come to me, though. I should be safe, having these turrets. Can I get up here? Can. Sulfur. So yeah, this is the crevice, guys. We've seen this a couple times, but... Uh, I should probably try to show it off a little bit more. Here we go. Oh, kill him! It was a 138. Are you kidding? <laughs> they didn't kill him. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we got our war boat. <laughs> we could just respawn. Bad. This is cool though. I I like I like this. If I had my Anki, this would be fun. I could just come over here and collect up metal and stuff. Uh, where is? There it is. 
What was that, a poison? Kind of looked like a lightning from far away, I guess because of the purple. Let's get rid of all this crap. Nice. Also, we have that trophy now that we could we can place that up somewhere. I don't really know if we're going to make a trophy room this season. We probably will. Usually make like a trophy room in each base. Um, so here's all Axeman stuff. As you can see, oh, there are auto turrets, but I think it, the wire might be broken. Uh, there is one more wyvern back there. I see you. Let's see, we got another one back there as well. Alright, uh, this is kind of dangerous. I feel like I'm gonna die. Come on, turrets! Holy crap! Okay, he's still alive. <laughs> Alright, we got one more. And then this could be my, this could be my crevice. There's two more apparently, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's time to go. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, kill him. Kill him. Do it. Oh, God. How did that not get me? Where's this other one? Where is he? He's like stuck. Kill him! Oh god! <laughs> oh, that was so close. Alright, well this is my medal now. Oh, damn. Well guys, that's probably gonna be it for today. Um, <laughs> this is... This is so cool. I'm gonna need to be uh, collecting up more metal here pretty soon anyway. To keep up on all the bullets. I do want to have quite a few in it. Just to have it ready for whenever we need it. Um, also, I don't even think I showed it off because... I did it like between clips, but I did actually go through all the settings on the turret and it's gonna only target wyverns, alpha wyverns, uh, and then all the other alphas as in like, oh, I didn't include alpha megalodon actually. I should probably do that. Um, I'm not gonna be able to carry all this, am I? Eh, kinda, not really. Let's drop all this. So yeah, uh, I have it including uh, just wyverns, all types of wyverns, including alpha, of course. Uh, then all of the land alphas and lead sick this as well. So I need to include alpha megalodon. I don't need to include Mosa and the other one because uh, they, they don't come up to the surface. But uh, the megalodons kind of do, so that's kind of an issue. Let me let me show that off really quick just so you guys can see. I feel like it's kind of interesting. Let me see. Uh, nope. So turret options. This is part of the S plus turret. It's really, really cool. Very um, in-depth system here. So you can... Exclude all the ticked creatures or include all the tick all the ticked creatures and um, As you can see I have all the alphas there. I need to get alpha megalodon on here as I said or maybe Is that even in here because I feel like that would be up there if it was Yeah, it would be up at the top if alpha megalodon was on this list, so it's probably not uh, but yes as you can see all those alphas uh, we got the Fire Wyvern there, we have the Lead Sick This Lightning Wyvern, and then Poison's down here somewhere, and I think that's all right. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's the settings of the turret. Very, very nice, very in-depth system. That way we're not wasting bullets on, like, just random creatures flying by and stuff. Uh, so very, very nice. But, um, yes, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, subscribe. Uh, did I? I did get my sniper, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, I'm, I know I'm missing something, but I'm actually not. But uh, yes, anyway, I will see you next time.